Shalom guys and happy Monday. Today is a new day. It's a day that the most high touched you and said, hey, I'm gonna let her wake up today. So let's see what she's gonna do. So let's make it great. We are, um, we got a couple things to do today. So just come along with us and join the butlers while we stay in Lux. All right, let's get going. All right, so update on what's going on with the renovations with the RV. We are, time is winding down to get them completed so that we can mo get moving. Um, we still have to do another coat of paint in this area. We still have to change the wood on the trim on this slide. The foam for this, all of this should be here on Wednesday. Again, today is Monday. Um, and then we still got to find fabric so we can get it reupholstered. Um, let's see. Oh, the new light fixtures for that won't be here until the end of the week, but the new light fixture for that is here. We just gotta go to the front desk and get it. We have to go by Lowe's. Oops, you okay, PT? Our Home Depot to get a piece of wood to go down here before the um, cushion can go down. And we also have to cut this flat to make it one whole unit. And then of course, we still gotta finish unpacking. We're still trying to figure out where things can fit in this RV. After a while, if we can't find where it's going to fit, it's going to get it's going to get tossed out. <laughs> um, we do want to give the RV a good cleaning. If you can see, the windows are kind of really kind of just smeared and dirty. We want a nice view. Um, let's see what has happened. So we do have the new faucet here, the soap dispenser there, which actually. They're so loud. We only bought it because when we got this, when we took the old one out, there was two holes left. I didn't really need it, but it was just a way to cover the hole. It was actually really misplaced. Hubby might take the time to um, put the faucet over here and put the soap dispenser over I there. I don't wash dishes on this side. I wash dishes on that side. The burka has a hole in it at the bottom, which is why it's, it's a really, really, really small hole, but it still leaks on the counter, which is why it's in the sink. So that we can filter water, we put them in glass, mason jars and put them in the refrigerator and then we empty it and put it up um but hubby is going to weld the whole clothes of course when he gets time he's got a lot going on um i do have a new home for these plants i cannot wait to show you guys what i've done with it all in all we still got to pull let's see hi baby tora so we still got to pull this carpet up here um and we may put just some quick laminate down here because who's gonna keep vacuuming when no, Judah is going to waste food every meal? So whatever flooring we put down here, I'm gonna put that same flooring um, in my room where the nice den part is. I'll show you. Um, and whatever ca carpet we put in the children's room, we're gonna put on the floor in my room just to keep costs low. Other than that, we still got a few things over here that need to go put up like the bathroom faucet, we got some um, hangers for the wall to put up. The underskirt of my bed that holds all the shoes. Finished getting paint done so we can put this away and put all these pampers up. All right, guys. Oh, but we do have blinds. We have these blinds and we found them for a really great deal at this store near us called the Yard Sale. We got these huge 50 inch um, white faux wood blinds, cordless. For fifteen dollars a piece, that's pretty cheap. All right, let's get these children fed and get our dish. All started. right, family. So we are okay. There we go. So we are all dressed. Everyone is loading up in the van. Um, so let me take some time and let you guys know what's going on. So hold on, she's crying. What is wrong? What's wrong with that baby? What's wrong with my baby? All right, so we got everybody fed. Cleaned up, dishes washed as much as I could, pots washed out, everything wiped down. Dry my shoes are in the wrong place, even Peyton's. Um, we had the jazz plan while everybody got dressed, but we're now done. Hot water heater off, and time to run a quick air. Let's go. Shalom. Okay, so I had to wait Bye. until I got into the car to talk to you guys so we are currently okay so most of you guys know hey no, judah mama's on the phone hold on okay so most of you guys know we have the butler bus which is what i'm driving we got a chevy express 
passenger rate in, but we got the short body. So we don't have five rows, but we do have three rows and we have enough space in the trunk as well. So, and it has some kind of engine that can pull the RV. That's the Zay department. I can't explain that part to y'all. So when we got it, we knew that it had a slight um, twerk with the transmission, which Zay's good at transmission. So we're not worried about it. So, but blessedly the most high was like, I already got y'all, I already got y'all, right? <laughs> so blessedly the guy who sold us this van had already had a transmission put in and he gave us the paperwork or whatever and smart Zay decided to call the people on the on the paper and see if there is a warranty come to find out there is a warranty and they're going to cover changing the what did they say it was it wasn't a torque converter it was a something else it's already g so they're going to fix it we're taking it to mr transmission here in tennessee and then they're going to cover the cost so that's what we're doing now so i'll break it to that and then we're gonna go and take a walk and get some exercise in. We're trying to get back into being healthier and being more mobile as far as working out. We don't wanna get on the road stiff, out of shape, aching, you know what I mean, just all out of whack. Because when you travel, that's the, one of the quickest ways to get sick, just because you're in and out of different areas. You all right? Yeah. Bless you, Jeremiah. So that's that on that. Um, and then we're gonna go home, do some schoolwork, I'm going to probably retie Jeremiah's hair. I watched everybody's at my mom's house this weekend. And Zay has um, one of his clients. He got to work on a client today, which is fix something in one of his client's truck. So that's only, he only have one truck to do today. And then that should take maybe two or three hours and then he'll be back home with us. But he's actually working on a course for his new job and um, he's got to put in three to four hours for his course today. So I'll be busy doing homeschooling and maybe hair just to keep the kids, because it's online. Um, and he has to be done his course by the end of this week to get his certificate to head out to work uh, wherever they're gonna station us um, in the next two weeks. So I can't tell you guys what it is yet because that's a business. If he decides to tell y'all what he's doing for work, um, he's the type to not like to say things until he's actually has grabbed it. I'm the type that will tell y'all even if I don't got it yet, but I, I'm the type to tell you my plans. Zed's the type is to actually execute and then he'll let you know when it's complete. So I'll let him tell you guys when he's ready on what exactly he's doing. Judah, say shalom. Um, so yes, I think that's all. Um, I was trying to tell y'all in the house before tours started crying. So that's what we're doing now so all right we're almost here where is it right here so we're gonna turn here and we'll be there and then i'll talk to you guys soon sure. So we have baby girl dropped off to, I'm calling her Bubbles, by the way. Bubbles the Butler bus. And that's because she's so round and gives us joy. But, um, all right. Okay, so she's dropped off and he said about two or three days, he'll have her done. Fortune, I was, I was gonna say unfortunately, that we still have to pay $300 out of pocket because the taxes are different in Colorado than it is here in Tennessee. Uh, we still gotta pay $300, so we don't have it yet. But hubby's gonna go to work and he'll have it hopefully in the next two or three days to get baby girl out of the shop. Until then, we're back to big baby green. We're happy to have her. She's be She ain't cute, but she dependable. All right, let's head to the park. Time to do a quick walk, family walk. And head home to take care of 
business. Judah, run up there with daddy. Go, go, go. Go, Judah, go. Oh, your money, Jay. Your money. Get your dollars. His pocket. Go, Judah, go, run, go play. Daddy dropped me and Peyton off at Kroger. We're gonna get just a few items for the week. Trying to keep cost low. We have the lunch. Um, put the clothes in the dry washer. I'm gonna start retying Miss Peyton's hair. And then we're gonna go put the clothes in the dryer. Oh, 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 oh. Peyton and I are walking to the laundromat. To put the clothes in the dryer and then we're gonna get back to her hair. Right, Peyton? Yes. All right. He's still working on his client's truck. It went a little longer than normal, but it is what it is. But look what came in. The new light fixture that goes there, but I gotta finish painting. My plant holders came in. The shelves that goes in the kids' bunks came in. Um, and I got laundry done. And Toru is asleep. <laughs> and we got a little space heater for their room to go on the side of their dresser. Um, we went through all of our yeah. Amazon boxes and Jeremiah's supposed to come and get that. We were supposed to be doing a bonfire tonight. I got the hot dogs and some s'mores and stuff ready. But um, just found out there's a burn ban because it's dry here. So it won't be burning anything. So I'm going to try to do hot dogs in the air fryer. I'm sure they'll come out nice and crispy like they would in the fire. And we're going to call it a dinner. Got the baked beans done. We got ground beef, onions, peppers, seasoned barbecue sauce, and of course the beans. And I'm gonna put the hot dogs in the air fryer, and that's it. That's an easy. Shalom, guys. Happy Tuesday. So before hubby heads to work on his next client for this day, he's putting up his baby girls. Roof rack, uh, not roof rack. My herb wall, right, babe? Oh. You gotta get used to the sort of ceiling, babe. All right. Take it so we have the herb wall that I had in the old RV. We got a new one. He's gonna put there because I need my herbs. And as you can see, I have a sore throat. And it's that season where people like to get sickness, you know, the fall winter season. So um, I need my herbs out, not up. So he said I can get a, a, a um, herb rack. So we got that. And then, as I, I think I showed you guys, the new light came in for right there. And this one I have not ordered yet, but I need to finish painting that. And I need to finish painting that corner as well because I got my plant holders that came in. Very inexpensive way to hang your plants by the window so that you don't have to move it every time you guys got to move. But they stay in the sun. Yeah. You hear the children arguing? That's what they do. All right, family. All right, so hubby got my spice rack up and I have started to put it up. Um, but I have quite a bit of herbs here. So I think I need to order a few more jars, but I think I'm gonna order the short jars or take the shorter glasses down, bring that one down a notch and put regular size. And then I'm gonna order to where all the lids look the same so it can be uniform. And then I'm gonna finish getting my label maker out and labeling all of the herbs. But I'm so happy it feels, makes this place feel like so much home with my herbs out. 
and um we need a new broom because that one is broken but i'm going to order one that can be collapsible so that i can hang it inside of here on inside of that wall and the uh, swiffer already huh they playing okay i'm gonna get them judah and the swiffer already breaks down um so yeah so i think i'm going to finish up here and start putting a coat of paint on this huh? okay baby and put a coat of paint on this wall and um probably try to hang up my plant holders so we'll see all right let's keep we it going family Fenton, taking a break from getting her hair done to peel garlic so we can make our yearly antibiotic with garlic and honey and while she's doing that the boys are outside and i'm gonna wash a few dishes we're gonna make it and then get started back on her hair so let's keep today going hubby put the light up and i don't like it it looks like a porch light so i'm gonna have to tell him when he get home i'm gonna hold on judah i'm gonna need him to take it down i'm gonna have to order a different one so i'm gonna send it back to amazon and order something different so ugh I don't like it. What do you guys think? I think it's just it it don't it don't it don't go. It's not giving homey RV. It's giving let's sit on the porch. So I got all the herbs and stuff out, going through them all, and I'm going through and filling up the jars. And I got these little jars here. I'm ashy because I just started lunch, so I just washed dishes but like strong herbs that i may put one or two pieces in a cup of tea i got small these small spice cup things that have magnets in the top and i'm just gonna sit them there um probably not a good idea honestly because of judah so let's sit it more like there there we go and that way i still have some out but i don't have space for a lot of big ones and i had already had these from the previous rv Oh, I'm ashing. All right, baby tour is fine. Let's see y'all in a minute. This was some elderberry teacher that I had, and I drained the rest of it in the spray bottle. And that way I can just spray it in our mouths every day. But I'm gonna go ahead and get some more started. So uh, I use, um, uh, what is it? 100 proof? 100 proof like uh, vodka or Everclear, one of the two. But I use 100 proof just so that it's 50% water. 50% alcohol and it's easy math and I put elderberries here and I just let it sit for weeks and weeks and weeks and when I just feel like it I just put it in the spray bottles and I'm going to put the spray bottles um, at the bottom of the herb wall so yeah all right so next I'm going to figure out where to put all of my oils and then we're going to do an inventory on oils what we have left and what we don't have and whatever we don't have I'm going to put in my Amazon cart so that when we can we can order it I love this stuff. I think this is thieves. Yes. Me and my Miss Mary, we love us some thieves. The towels. So normally I don't do paper towels because we had a washer and dryer. So I did washable napkins, but we don't have a washer and dryer in this unit. So I'm trying to think about where to put this. So I was going to put it over the sink, but I don't want any clutteredness over there. So I found this little cute area over here where the drawers are. So I'm thinking about going on Amazon, finding a paper towel holder and just putting it there. Um, at the same time, not sure that's a good idea. We have baby Judah around. So um, let's see, I have to finish painting this wall, but um, maybe up here would work. I just don't want too much clutteredness, but we do need a paper towel holder. So I may find something on Amazon that can go here. I just like to keep that open though, you know? Let's see. I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? I don't really see anywhere else to put it. Because I'm going to put my knives over here once I finish all of this. Because um, I don't want knives down low with baby Judah. And with her coming up. So, so I put yeah. a fresh coat of paint in this corner. I really don't even like paint. <laughs> but I know I got to get done. So I'm literally painting in sections. So I got a fresh coat of paint on that section and I got all of the windows and stuff open because it's such a beautiful day. Um, so while that dries, we're gonna get ready to feed the children. I've done all I was gonna do to the herb wall for today. So another thing um, we're gonna definitely have to get before we get to Arizona is a awning. So we have this pole, but I guess the previous owner broke the 
actual awning off in the other pole. So we're gonna definitely have to look into that ASAP because we're gonna need a way to block the sun. Um, and the awning is just a whole vibe. I mean, what's camping if you don't have no awning? All right, so we got Peyton's hair done. She's been retired. How you feel, princess? Good. Yeah, turn around and see all of it. Hair is looking nice and fresh. All right, thumbs up. Yeah. All right, family, so I got this side of the walls repainted. I still got to touch up more of the ceiling on this side. I'm literally repainting this house a little bit at a time. And we got the plant hangers um, hung up, so yay! I think I'm gonna put a Yuhua sign right there to cover up this line that held together that big old board that was there. I'll uh, insert a clip here. And we finally got that light taken out so that we can buy a different one. So I'm going to repaint this section until it comes. And let's see what else we did. Oh, I hung up a place for my purse. A cute little black knob that pretty much matches, match the aesthetics um, of the entire this side of the house you know like with the black you know or whatever so that's what I did and you're sliding why are you sliding mama so next I got paint all over my hands we're gonna figure out where to put our essential oils it has to be close to the diffuser obviously so let's see if we can get this hung up real quick um honey should be back soon he said the foam came in and he's headed to pick up Jeremiah from Friday so yay, today's So really day. quick guys, in this room, this is me and Zay's little square, right? We downsize and we literally downsize. Like this is our bed. <laughs> this is the wall that the TV goes on. Judah, 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 stop yelling. Um, and this is the closet area that I still need to put something there, put something beautiful there. And I'm getting hopefully a Betty. I'm gonna leave a link below of a Betty. And that's because it's hard making up this bed with Princess pa uh, Taurus bed here, but I need her to sleep on her own so I can get a good night's sleep. And um, also the furnace is down here. And when this comforter is all the way, it, we can't get any heat. So a beddy is automatically tucked. I'll leave a link below um, of the one that I'm thinking about getting and all of that. So, but so hold on Peyton. So I painted this and obviously the paint is not gonna work because it was a smooth surface, as you can see right here. I stopped painting it. It was a smooth surface, and I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say it. I already didn't want to paint. So, and as you can tell, it's just not gonna work because I didn't sand. So I bought wallpaper. So I'm gonna put some wallpaper up here, and then hubby's gonna mount my TV there. I'm gonna put some maybe some beautiful greenery, maybe a little light light, uh, light light. That means string light in Amber's terms, and it's gonna be beautiful. My square, I want to be, my hubby already broke that, already, but we're we gonna fix it. I want this little square to still be an absolute o oasis. All right, let's get moving to putting up the um, essential oils. This is the phone for our couch. Are you excited, Judah? So I got two boxes and we got my big baby Jeremiah back from karate. Where is he? Where's Jeremiah? There he goes. How's karate? Good. Oh, have you guys know it? My baby ain't just a dismal kid. He ain't just a logger, okay? He is also a carpenter, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you got jokes. No, babe, you good. Love you, man. Not my table now. Boop. Boop. All right, so we put the first part in there. 
it hangs a little bit, but we'll be back. family it is wednesday and yeah. today we are dropping daddy off to one of his clients because we're still down to one van while the other van is in the shop hopefully we'll pick it up tomorrow so we're gonna drop daddy off to one of his clients we're gonna run a couple of errands and go pick him up so let's get started right now we just got done eating breakfast jude the boys are playing and daddy is sweeping while i finish dishes and finish drying and then we're gonna hop in the van I'm gonna do a load, two loads of laundry, run a couple of errands, and we have a birthday party to go to tonight. So, so let's get going in the kitchen. Uh, put everything away. Like I told you guys, the Berkey has a hole in it, so we gotta keep it to where it can drip. Um, Daddy, I think he's gonna weld the hole that's in the bottom. It's a really, really, really small hole, but even though it's super, super tiny, 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 it still makes the counter wet. So we have to put it there. But I like to. Okay, RV tip. When you finish cooking, go ahead and clean the kitchen up. It'll make your space more functional. It's already tiny. So go ahead and clean it up and make it ready for the next meal. Next thing, it's still too much stuff on this counter for me. So I'm gonna have to finish painting all of this. I was gonna put the backsplash all the way around, but it's too many cracks and crevices, like too many like things to go around for this peeling stick. So I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna cut it off here and put a, um, there's a border thing that makes it look finished. And then I'm going to finish painting it and be done. I did order a paper towel holder. Just gonna go up there. I was gonna put it here, but baby Judah would totally mess up all the paper towels. And then the diffuser, I'm gonna probably put the diffuser somewhere else. I'm not sure where, but it's gonna still be kind of close to there. I was thinking about making like a little ledge to where the diffuser can sit and I'll never have to move it. And I can always just, you know, um, I just need this clear. Air fryer we use every day, it has to stay. This we are using every day right now because we make tea every day. And that stand right there holds the Berkey. Baby just started the van, that means I need to go. Um, so yeah, definitely always clean it up. That's a tiny space tip. That way when you come back, you're ready for your next move. You ready to go, mama? And then I'm thinking, I like this here so the kids can get their forks or whatever while they're eating, but it can't sit on the table. It's just in my way. So I'm thinking about maybe making a way where it could sit here. So when we're not eating, it's out the way. But when we are eating, pick it up and put it there. But I don't know if that'll work either because when you open the trash can, boom, it gets hit. And the kids will knock it down. So we'll have to figure out where this can go. But it may have to just stay there I would hate to get rid of it because I don't like them always in my drawers. You ready to go? All right. See you in a minute, family. I'm dropping daddy off at his client's truck. So he's gonna work on that. I gotta come back and pick him up at a decent hour. We are going to, um, kids, me and the kids are gonna run a couple of errands. This is, dark, this is a dry spot. And it looks like I have dark under eyes. But I don't, because I've been getting a little sleep. I mean, the kid's gonna focus so we can come back and get daddy. What? <sighs> so I gotta go to Goodwill. I need to clean this van out, but I ain't. I ain't. It is cold here in Tennessee. It is getting really cold. I need to get a hat. <sighs> we are <laughs> in Hobby Lobby, looking for fabric for the couch. So I'm thinking I don't want uh, really expensive fabric. Um, I know a lot of people might say, go with quality. I got five kids, okay? Judah gonna stay in it the first day. I would rather go with something that's still durable but not so expensive. So if I decide I wanna switch it up, I can go get more fabric, a different color if I want, and I can reupholster without feeling like I've wasted my money because I bought something that was like $40 a yard. We're not doing that. So let's go see what we can find here. So we're having lobby. lobby and I'm looking at the upholstery type. Um, this is really cute. This is like a light blue teal look. Um, but this is 
this is cute too but it has like this little don't look at my nails y'all little threads of this color in it and it's 40 percent off so um the one at joanne's was like 50 dollars of the art this one is what does it say 22 22 dollars a yard with 40 percent off that's doable look because we need quite a bit of yards but i think i'm going to hold on judah i really like this but i got five kids and mr here loves making stains so that may be my best bet i don't think we want to get stuck with an actual color because i like to switch up my pillows to add my color and i think this whole stains well so i think i like this better what do you guys think oh she's definitely wouldn't go with anything like this because it's just not our style and it's i'm so ashy and it's um cold like when you try to like i can't watch no movie on that all right so let's go back to the section we hey, were Dora. in say hi you looking at fabric you looking at fabric ma'am oh okay what are you looking at say hi say hi Okay. We're back home. <laughs> Sitting on this one little pillow until we can finish getting the rest of the cushion um, trimmed. And I did pick up fabric today, as you guys already saw. Uh, well, I picked up a sample. I picked up one yard just to make sure we like it. And um, I call myself going to turn on two space heaters at the same time. Bad idea because I forgot. With this RV, we are on 30 amp and not on 50 amp. So I, I tripped the circuit. All the power in the RV went out. But blessedly, we have a surge protector. Number one RV tip, get a surge protector. Do not hook up to any electricity without that on um, your cord first. And I was able to reset it. And now I know that hubby said I can only run one heater inside of the home. The other heater, we're going to have to wire directly to the box when he get home. So that way it's coming straight off shore power and not out of the RV. Judah's loud. So I'm going to go. In the meantime, I really recommend this little heater right here. It is so amazing. It comes with a remote. You can set your temperature. Leave Judah alone. It, you can set your power. I mean, your temperature. It also tells you how warm or cool it is inside of your home currently. You can set uh, if you want it to run for two hours, four hours, six hours. It does not continue to run. It isolates, which is pretty cool. And it actually puts out much more heat than our bigger heat. It's super cute, super sleek. All right, so <laughs> I got a yard. It's a mess. I don't I know. It's a mess. We just did laundry, though. We did do laundry. So I got a yard to see if I would like that color. I I would want to go lighter to make this whole area just super bright without changing the wood. Um, but that is not, uh, I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I like that. And then we also gotta change this carpet across the board. He's just gonna cut it out, take up this, put some flooring down and put those back. Because the carpet under there, I never had it for the move this whole bench. And nothing is wrong with the carpet under the bench. That's just nasty though. Anyway, I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I like that. What do you guys think about that color? Now I can so add I got this one because it's not too dark and it's not too light and then the pillows that i'm going to put on that side is going to be like really bright in this area i don't know what Shalom do you guys think? family so we are oh she's struggling with her seatbelt but we are headed to a birthday party for a special little girl and after this we're going to head home i think i don't know what he's going to do but i'm going to go home and sit down somewhere and figure out and look at videos on how to reupholster holster you know what i mean these are cushions um and just spend time with my babies and end the day so i'm actually probably gonna go on ahead and end the vlog here 
so we can go spend some time with the Mishpika and we'll end the vlog and we'll pick you guys back up on Thursday. We'll see you then. Until next time, thank you for watching another Butlers and Bucks video and for letting us in your home. We hope we have been inspirational and educational when it comes to anything Torah, full, uh, large family, RV living, whatever. All right. Until next time, shalom. Shalom. Oh.